and Kamanati means to progress or to move forward. One of the ways that Studio Incominati does this, I believe, is bringing in the color of the Impressionists to work with masterful draftsmanship. Yes, we are looking back at the masters and we are standing on their shoulders, but we are using this traditional art form and using it to convey the contemporary world which is around us today. Painting is the art of seeing. One of the things that we do here in Studio Incominati is we take something that's very complicated and we take it into its different parts and we study those different parts. And then you can start putting them back together again and we practice that over and over and over again until we become proficient at it and we do that with each of these different areas of study. And that is how you learn to see. There are a few key elements that make Studio Incominati unique. Direct painting, gestural drawing, and color. Direct painting means that we just paint directly on the canvas. Uh, we don't do a preliminary drawing and then transfer it. Instead, what we do is we draw with a brown paint directly on the canvas. The start of a painting is very important, and that's one of the lessons that Nelson Shanks really pressed upon us, and that's why we do direct painting. He used to say that the finish was only as good as the start. If your start is loose and organic and you can feel it, and then you can build on that type of start, the finish will also have that dynamic and that energy. And that's the goal. Gestural drawing is doing very quick, one minute, two minute, five minute drawings of the model. You're, you're trying to capture the model in as few lines as possible. You're trying to capture their movement, the feeling, Capturing that gesture does a couple things. One, we learn how to simplify what we're seeing in a very short amount of time. It makes us very fast. And that energy is caught early on in the painting, and that's something that we hold on to all the way through to the final brushstrokes. And the end result is that our paintings have more life. They feel like they're breathing. You can feel the action of it. And I think it, you know, they're more organic. The color we use is very prismatic. We have a very broad palette, and the end result of that is we have color-rich finished paintings. The overall curriculum is four years, and it's set up in a way that each year progresses upon the year before it. The first year is focused primarily on drawing. The reason for that is because you can only paint as well as you can draw. After the drawing phase of the education, students begin to get the transition into painting. Students will do open grisaille, so you're going into drawing with the brown paint directly from the model in modeling form, black and white class, flesh tones, also color study. Color studies are meant to be very fast, they're meant to be very bold, raw, kind of aggressive, and you're practicing these color spots, exaggerating the color, experimenting with your palette, and tuning these colors to each other. And this begins to develop our color perception. Before, when you saw grays and browns, now you're seeing hues. However well you develop your color perception is what you take into your longer, more finished paintings. And then in third year, there's a pretty major shift. Students then start taking all of these exercises that they're doing and we put them together into a longer painting process. And one of the ways we do that is through the mentorship program. Mentorship program is where students, one day a week, will go into an instructor studio, working one-on-one -on -one with that instructor, learning how to take a still life painting from start to finish. Students will learn how to compose, how to model, and how to take that painting to full completion. The fourth level in the curriculum focuses on a couple of key aspects. First of all, the long pose. The long pose is where students have the longest amount of time to work with the model, taking their painting from start to finish. That's for both figure and also portrait. You also have natural light, which is that beautiful, cool light that comes down and bathes the figure, very classical. So the combination of long pose and natural light is what level four is really all about. 
Working from a provided private studio space, students will also work on their thesis. And their thesis is developing a small body of work where you start to explore your own interests. And that at the end of the year is then exhibited publicly. Exhibitions that we have at Studio and Kaminati are very exciting opportunities to put your work before the public. And there's nothing quite as exhilarating as seeing all the work up together. Putting your work up for the public to see is what it's all about. After year four, students have the opportunity to apply for fellowship. And fellowship gives students the opportunity to continue to hone their craft with the support of the community. They also get their own studio space. It's a good way to bridge the gap between student to professional working artist. Humanist realism is the pursuit of understanding and exploring the human condition. And the way that we do that is we spend a lot of time with the model. We spend a lot of time studying nature. And all the things that we experience or that we feel that our model is experiencing, their, their emotions, their psychological state, all of that finds its way back into the painting. And uh, that's why painting from life, painting from nature is so important. One of my favorite aspects of Studio Incominati is the sense of community that we have here. It means that we're not alone on this journey and we're all endeavoring to attain this together and we can help each other. Nelson Shanks was a huge inspiration in the beginning of the school. His inspiration is something that continues to motivate all of us as a community. And, you know, we want to continue to not only look at his work, but also our own work. You know, finding our own voices is a part of our journey as well. My training at Studio Incominati definitely catapulted me to the next level of a painter. Uh, you know, I feel like my career has been catapulted. I think my ability at my technical proficiency has been catapulted, and all of that, without a doubt, is a result of me being a part of this school. The goal of Studio Incominati is for students to become professional painters, and that's a lifelong journey, but we do everything in our power to provide opportunities, to provide the training, to provide the support. I feel extremely fortunate to just to be able to be in a community where uh, the focus is mastering your craft to the highest places your imagination and maybe even beyond what you thought it could go. The curriculum is broad enough that students within the methodology that everybody's learning to for students to find their own way, to find their own path, to sort of express their own style. And that will then lead them down a path towards becoming more successful as an artist. And you know, you can paint anything you want after coming out of Studio Incominati. You can you have those abilities to anything you set your sights on, you can paint it.